Tonight on Bayou Time, busy, busy weekend and busy today in news. A candlelight vigil held for the young man who was killed last week in Thibodeau. A teen is raped in a restaurant, also in Thibodeau. Home of police looking for the alleged shooter at the corner of Morgan and Maine. And Thibodeau police make an arrest in a shooting in Thibodeau on St. Charles Street. It's all next on Bayou Town. Deep in the heart of the bayou, we are gathered here tonight. Now it's time for action, cause our lives are on the line. Tonight we'll do our very best to break through all the bureaucratic mess. The time has come tonight, cause it's Bayou time. Show what Louisiana's all about. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Martin Falls. I'd like to wish Miss Evelyn Spearman get well soon. She's home now from Terrebonne General Medical Center. I know she watches each and every night. We love you, Miss Evelyn. Thanks for watching, and get better soon. All right, what I want to do, uh, we have a lot to talk about tonight. We're going to open up with our news package, but certainly uh, the phone lines are going to be open tonight because just with all the news, that has been transpiring, especially out of the city of Thibodeau. Uh, Thibodeau just doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve all of this negativity that's been transpiring. But out of the negative news, a positive spirit has evolved. A candlelight vigil for uh, Jory Lee Rett was held this weekend. Uh, hundreds of people gathered for that and, and certainly a positive spirit was cast upon that city uh, however some other things happened in Thibodeau this weekend and one we'll talk about tonight where a 12 year old juvenile uh, was raped in a restaurant bathroom in Thibodeau and the man is under arrest and we'll have more in that there was also a shooting in Homa and another shooting in Thibodeau. So a lot of negative news has been taking place. However, we're going to open up the phone lines tonight after the news. We're going to talk about a lot of things. But, you know, maybe let's try to, to pull the city together and try to keep that positive spirit coming because that's the only way we as a community will be able to get past this. Some horrific, horrific events when you talk about a young man being killed and another young man being raped by an adult. It's really pitiful news, but you know, it's sort of the sign of the times. Uh, things seem to be getting a little worse. What do you think about that? But first, let's take a look at our local news. Sunday night, hundreds of residents from around the Bayou region turned out to remember and celebrate the life of Jory Lebret, who was brutally murdered last Sunday at his home in Thibodeau by his father. Uh, we're out here tonight at Pelche Park. It's a candlelight vigil in honor of Jory Lebret, who, who tragically lost his life one week ago. Um, it, this, was a, this was a grassroots effort. It's, it wasn't sponsored by any city organization or organized group. <clears throat> like I said, it's, an, it's a grassroots effort. It's, there's some very concerned citizens uh, within the city of Thibodeau that just felt so compelled over the tragedy that, that they wanted to get together and uh, try to develop a mechanism for, for healing and, and bringing the community together, try to address some of the issues, some of the anger, some of the grief, uh, some of the questions of how this could happen and why it could happen. Family and friends spoke about Jory and his life. Life is something that should never be taken for granted. That should cherish every moment of it. He didn't say or do much, but once he had your attention, that was it. He would laugh, and you would just have to laugh back. He couldn't help it. The jewelry was a very lovable child. He loved everyone, no matter what. He laughed and laughed and laughed. 
He thought God of no one. I'll never forget the day that he came home from New Orleans. Everyone came to the house and stayed for hours on end. Just to hold him was a blessing. Jesslyn Lee read, Jory's mother read a letter to Jory. Thank you so much. I love my child. With everything that I could. I want to thank my mom and my dad for giving me life so I can give it to him. My family, my friends, and all of Thibodeau. Thank y'all very much. I was going to speak from the heart, but I did write something down from the heart. Because right now, I really don't want to say this is all beautiful. Thank you very much. To my dearest son, music will never be the same anymore. My life will never be the same. But you're an angel now. And all these things may seem that way now, but they will eventually go back to normal. When I come to terms as to what happened to you, your smile will be the image that will be in everyone's soul, their mind, and their thoughts. You have brought this village together. And the reason why I say village is because Thibodeau is a village. It takes a village to raise a child. Jory will be laid to rest on Tuesday. Funeral services start at 11 a.m. at St. Genevieve Catholic Church in Thibodeau. In news from Homa, Homa police are looking for information into a shooting that occurred on Sunday at the corner of Main and Morgan Streets. At approximately 8 p.m. last night, officers with the Homa Police Department were dispatched to the 7,000 block of Main Street in reference to a shooting. Upon arrival, officers discovered blood and bullet casings in a parking lot and later determined that the victim had been transported to Terrible and General Medical Center by private vehicle. It was later determined the victim was a 17-year-old male shot in the arm with a non-life-threatening wound. The suspect in the investigation is a black male with dreadlocks, approximately six foot tall, medium build, last seen wearing a black shirt with white stripes. If you have any information regarding this crime, please contact the Homo Police Department and get Investigative Service Division at 873-6371. In more news from Thibodeau, Thibodeau police say a boy was allegedly raped in the bathroom of a local restaurant in Thibodeau. On Friday uh, the 19th around 7.30 at night, uh, Thibodeau Police Department received a call from a, from a city resident that a 12-year-old male had been raped in the bathroom at the Burger King. Upon police officers arriving at the Burger King, uh, at the residence, uh, they made contact with the uh, complainant and the 12-year-old male. Uh, who advised that he stopped in the Burger King uh, restaurant to use the bathroom, had uh, failed to lock the, uh, the stall, and uh, a white male approached him, and uh, from that point it had uh, unconsensual sex with the, uh, with the juvenile. Uh, the juvenile advised, the 12-year-old advised he was able to get out of the stall, and that's where he ran to, that, to the resident's house. And based on a description that, that was given by the 12-year-old, um, our investigators was, became involved immediately. Um, we're able to identify the suspect as uh, Terry Sanchez, a white male, date of birth uh, March 3rd, 1959, 51 years of age, as a potential suspect. Our detectives approached Terry Sanchez, and upon making contact, Sanchez advised that he had had engaged in sex with the 12-year-old at the uh, in, inside the restaurant. Uh, at that time, a warrant was secured for aggravated rape, and he was issued a bond for $250,000. He was transported to Lafourche Parish Detention Center, where he remains at, at today. In more Thibodeau Police news, Thibodeau Police arrest one in a shooting on St. Charles Street in Thibodeau. On Sunday, August 21st at about 1.59 a.m., uh, officers were dispatched to the 1200 block of St. Charles Street in Thibodeau in reference to shots being fired. Upon officers arriving to the scene, they observed four males running from St. Charles Street to the area of Sanders Street. Uh, the officers were able to pursue them using the, with the use of a canine and, and, his, uh, and the officer. Uh, they found the four males hiding in a utility room. Uh, off Sanders Street. Uh, the victim was sh uh, struck in the shoulder. He was brought to the Thibodeau General Medical Center where he was retreated and released. Uh, once they brought the four individuals to the Thibodeau Police Department, uh, Brad Cook, 23 years old of 20, 1234 President Street in Thibodeau, uh, confessed to the incident, confessed to the shooting that he had actually was the one that fired the weapon. Uh, he was booked on a $500,000 bond for uh, attempted second-degree murder 
and possession of a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. And he also remains at the Lafourche Parish Detention Center on a half a million dollar bond. Also this weekend, the Lafourche Deputies Association holds its annual softball tournament in Lockport. Use this as a fundraiser every year um, to assist with any needs that we may come up with. The members of the association, uh, which is a voluntary uh, membership that's allowed to all members of the department. All right, there you have it, a, a look at the news and what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, first of all, I want to talk about, you know, it, it baffles me in our Monday morning meeting here at HTV. We were talking about this aggravated rape, which took place in a restaurant in Thibodeau. I mean, a 12-year-old male was in the bathroom. A 51-year-old male goes in, this guy right here, and rapes, aggravated rapes. And everything's alleged until it goes to, to trial. But still, I mean, obviously, for them to make an arrest, they they have and I'll read you the press release when we come back but in a Burger King okay and this is and I want to stress that this is no reflection on Burger King or the store it's in the press release and everybody knows it so I'm gonna say the restaurant otherwise I wouldn't but it's in the police press release but what is happening with our society that this kind of stuff can take place it's it's appalling it's baffling uh we were just talking about a, a horrific crime last week where the vigil was this weekend and the funeral the services are taking place today then there's a shooting in thibodeau and the homeless had its share of crime also and it's no reflection on the police departments or the da's or the it's just a sign of the times so that's what the discussion is going to be tonight. Uh, eight seven nine one two three one. What's going wrong? What are we missing here? What is not being done? And and I also want to preface our discussion tonight on the DA. I talked to Cam Orvant last week, and he has not made a decision based late last week on the death penalty simply because he hadn't had no papers on his desk yet any papers let me use the right english but so let the process take place let all of the facts get on the desk let people make decisions remember emotions are very high and this is a horrific crime which breeds emotion so it's going to take some time for everything to fall into place and that will happen, trust me. It will happen. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the rape incident, the aggravated rape incident. And then we'll roll in some B-roll on the vigil of uh, the young man who was murdered. And then we'll have some scenes later in the program from the service with all respect. We'll be right back. 